This is White Lion Hill in Fobbing. Hello folks, welcome to this video. Fobbing is a very old one road Essex village that sits on the high ground that lies between Corringham to the west and Benfleet to the east and by the Thames to the south and Vange to the north. The tribes that settled here on the high ground must have developed what used to be a wooded area of a few thousand acres into pasture and arable lands. As it is situated so near to the River Thames and had its own creek and moorings below the village there must have been a good mixture of the Germanic tribes and the Roman and normal settlers. Around the 6th century there could well have been a religious temple, although likely to be non-Christian or pagan. Then along came Sed or Chad, and the site could have been claimed by the Christians, and the gods Mercury and associated deities, along with their rituals, absorbed into new custom and practices acceptable by the Christian ministry. The distinctive tower of the church, at 70 feet high, acted as a landmark and could be seen from a great distance along the Thames. This porch dates from the 15th century and is timber standing on a rubble wall. The door back there in the darkness is very old and the lock is unique in having been carved from a solid piece of oak wood. Judging by the number of different roof aspects, I would presume that there have been numerous additions to the church over its lifetime. Now there's a rather foreboding Essex sky that promises rain, and there to the left of centre of this picture is a farmer combining a field. I hope that he gets it done before the heavens open. And here we're looking out across Holhaven Creek and onto Canvey Island. That noise in the background is the farmer putting his foot down to speed up the harvester. I'm not too sure whether this is the obligatory yew tree or it's a very old oak tree. Back to the church and I find this window very unusual. This door is also extremely old as is the iron strapping that's on it. The tower contains eight bells. Four of them were installed in 1629 and the tenor bell in 1724. A sixth bell was installed in 1934 and two more in 1935 groups of ringers come from far and wide to ring these bells, including ringers from St. Martin in the field. This is St. Michael's Fobbing. Thanks for watching folks. ta -ra. When you come back to my life When you come back to my life